All right. Let's see how heavy this bad boy is. Oh, come on. I've got 70 pounds. That's my limit. Ooh. Dog scale in the kitchen. See, we're going to make it. All right, look at that. Just under 12 pounds to spare. Perfect. All right, well, let's cut back to the video I made earlier and see what's in this thing. All right, so let me uh, go through what I'm packing here. This is a uh, Pelican Air 1615 case. Uh, it's pretty light, yet pretty sturdy. Um, I wouldn't say it's quite as heavy duty as the non-air version, but um, I feel, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, I've taken the foam insert out of the case that came with the CEM25, and I've put it in here. Uh, it's nice and snug, so I have everything in its spot still i thought that worked really well um i'm going to be using the william optics red cat uh for uh, my scope um this is the new version that was just released so um some preliminary um tests with it seems like it's looking pretty good so i'm excited to get that out under a uh, no moon um, I'm using the ASI 183MC Pro as my capture camera. Um, I've got an off-axis guider in here with the 290 Mini hooked up to it. So that's all set up and focused and ready to go there with uh, each other. Um, I'm also packing the Sky Guider Pro so that I can do some... Uh, wide angle photography while this is going on at night. Um, so yeah, that's, and it, it helps make a nice tight wedge in here. I've got a little 400 watt power inverter with a, a cigarette lighter adapter and also two battery hooks. And this is just for emergency. Who knows when I might need, you know, we're gonna be traveling for two weeks, um, driving from Sydney to Melbourne. So. Uh, this will be nice to have just for a backup uh, emergency need for power or charging or whatever. Um, I'm also bringing all the AC adapters. I've got a little surge pad that we can plug into plug into our power converters. Um, like I said, I'm bringing the I've got the power the AC power adapter and the for the mount, the one for the camera here. Um, these are all my cables right here. They're they're loose at the at the moment. Um, I've got a, a cable organizer coming. Should be here this weekend, so I'll get those all wrapped up and ready to go. This little box here just has the power adapters to charge my portable batteries. So speaking of the portable batteries, these are I've got three of these. So one runs the mount, one runs the camera cooler, and Oh, I guess I need to explain that as well. One runs the ASI Air. I debated back and forth on whether or not I should purchase the Air and um, and use that versus bringing my laptop. Now, of course, if I was just driving and not flying and could just load everything up in the van, I would just throw that laptop in but being that weight is an issue, more things to charge, um, more things to plug in. Um, I'm already bringing my MacBook with me for just everything else, as that's my main computer. Uh, I didn't want to bring my imaging laptop with me, so I decided to give this a try. I set everything up over the last few nights uh, with the moon out, and while I didn't get great images because of the bright moon, um, I think it works pretty well. So anyway, back to the batteries. I've got these, they're made by a company called Talent Cell. They're about 50 bucks on Amazon. 
Um, each one of these is slightly less than 100 watt hours, so they are all able to be taken in on a carry-on um, without special permission. So, you know, you don't have a limit on batteries if they're underneath. So obviously these will go in my carry-on. You can't carry loose power cells. You can't check them. So I will have a few other things going on in my carry-on as well. I'll be putting a few more things in here just to make it more snug. I've got, a, you know, probably a hoodie and uh, I've got my... Uh, I've got a Telegizmos, uh, not the 365 cover, but the little Mylar one that'll go in here uh, just to cover the scope because where we're staying, I'll be able to leave it set up, hopefully, um, for the three or four days that we're there. It's a nice, safe Airbnb. I've also got this. I purchased this. This is the little Ioptron, I guess they call it a little one and a half inch field tripod. Um, this will just go in my luggage. It's light. I think it's like 10 pounds. Really, this is a pretty cute little tripod. I mean, it only gets about 25 inches tall. Uh, it fits both the Sky Guider and the CEM on it. Great. So um, that was, I think that's well worth the purchase. Saves me about 15 pounds in weight and, you know, another six or seven inches in length for as far as packing goes yeah uh when we when i get there and we're all set up i will definitely do a little video on how everything's looking all set up and how every how everything i think uh hopefully works well so that's the gear i've packed to uh take with me to australia um should be a fun little astrophotography adventure um, got a nice dark site. The clouds look like they're going to be non-existent for the time that I'm there. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, hoping it all works out well. I'm really looking forward to this trip and I uh, can't wait to share some of the images I get and some of the adventures that I have. So uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you next time. All right. Till then. Bye.